Well, hello everybody, this is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about the first invitational racer dropped and some racers that could actually be at risk of getting dropped. Now, for the directly to their photo owners, please subscribe and comment and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming all about the Street Outlaws No Prep Gangs Race Series and all the other Street Outlaw shows. So, this past weekend at Virginia Motorsports Park, we saw Birdman get dropped from the invitational to the reserve. Now, he is on Mike Merrill's team, and allegedly, or at least the word is, that he had issues and couldn't make first round, so Mike actually dropped him from the Invitational, and he went to the Reserve. And he actually picked up Dominator, which actually did pretty good in the Invitational. So, pretty interesting, but Birdman actually made some really good passes in Outlaw Big Tire, so we could possibly see him back in the Invitational this week. Or, maybe Mike will stay with Dominator. Now, the following statements are just my opinions. They're not personal attacks against any driver. This is just looking at the situation as an outsider. And if somebody differs from my opinion, you can share it down in the comment section. Now, I like every driver on NPK. But, since the game now has changed to a team deal. And they can actually replace team members. I'm just going to state my opinion as an outsider. Now, one of the racers, in my opinion, that is at risk of getting dropped is Chuck Seitzinger. Now, Chuck is a really good driver. The car is really well built, and he can make the whole NPK series. Now, why could he get dropped? In my opinion, he is not fast enough right now to be competitive on NPK. He is running a twin turbo 41X combination that Ryan ran back in 2019. Now, back in 2019, you could probably get away with 390s to be competitive on no prep kings. Now, if you're not running 370s, you're not going to be fast enough. And at the current weight, a 41X with twin turbos has to weigh, I don't believe it is possible for that combo to run 370s. That's just my opinion. So, Chuck's Mustang is limited due to its combination. And also Chris Rankin. Chris is also running a Twin Turbo 41X. And that car is rolling pretty good, but it keeps getting outran by the blur cars or nitrous cars or pretty much any other car running a different combination. So, it's not a knock against Chris. It's just a knock against their Twin Turbo 41X combination. Now, if they do have a rule adjustment, which is very possible now, and they take weight off the 41X combination, then they might be faster and more competitive. And the other thing is that Chuck and Chris Rankin are actually on very successful teams right now, and they're doing really good. Chris is from Kai Kelly's team, which is actually leading in the points right now for the team championship. And Chuck is on Ryan's team, which is actually doing pretty good as well. So they could get replaced by someone like Doc. Now, Doc struggled a lot this past year, but this year he is running a lot better. The car is lighter. He has a screwbone Hemi, which is a top combination right now in NPK. And if he keeps getting a handle on his combination and his car and his chassis, He's going to be a lot faster. And he is already pretty fast. So these are my two picks of people that could get dropped. But let's see what happens.